I think what I love most about dung beetles is that it's just something we don't know a lot about and they are just hidden. They're small and you maybe won't see them, but there's so much to discover about them. My name is Betty, I'm 25 years old. I am from Austria. We're actually a really small team of scientists working on dung beetles right now in Austria. We're just four people. So my friends, if I, if I tell them what I do, they were like, why, <laughs> what, what, how? So yeah, it's just, I think it's just the whole thing is strange for people. And I can understand because I'm just digging in shit. Dung beetles are hiding in the soil, so we have to take the soil uh, with us. We come here to the Neusiedlsee National Park. So normally we go out into the field to collect samples. It's really nice to have a team that is really close because it just makes it easier to work together as well. Yeah, so that's a tunnel from a dung beetle. So they will take some pieces of the dung, put it in the tunnel and uh, put the egg on the, on the dung piece and the larvae will feed on it. And as soon as it's developed, it will just crawl out of the tunnel and fly away and search for a new tank pad. <laughs> the studying of the dung beetles is important because they play a really important key role in the whole grazing ecosystems and it's all connected. So if you have dung beetles here, you will have birds feeding on them. And then on the other hand, it's important that the dung beetles put the nutrients in the dung back inside the soil. If there were no dung beetles and other insects that decompose the dung, it will just dry out. It will stay there for a long time, so that's when the whole system starts breaking down. And it's actually ecosystems that we as humans depend on as well. The biggest threats for dung beetles at the moment are the medicine that is used against worms in the cattle. Dung beetles will not use dung pads of um, treated cows. And the other big problem that we have is that dung beetles don't use dung pads of cows that are inside a stable because they need the soil underneath the dung pads. So there is a strong decline in, in dung beetles in numbers of individuals, but also in species. And we actually already lost a lot of species in the area that we're studying in. As we discover more and more about the beetles, there are actually more and more questions that come up. And we just need a just some really basic information, like what species do we have here? How many are there? I think it's really important that more people would get into that field of studies. There is cattle and sheep and other horses, for example, all over the world. So it's actually a um, field of study that is important, not only here in Europe, but everywhere. If the dung beetles disappeared from the world, the whole world will just be covered in shit. Mm -hmm.